Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI. Now, I have no real sort of ideas for this series. I thought I would just jump into a game and, you know, see what happened. So, uh, I will quickly talk about the mod that we're going to be using. We are just going to be using the Sucretact Simple UI Adjustments. A lot of you guys have been making comments about using the, the CQUI thing. I actually really don't like the CQUI, so I'm going to try out the Sucretact Simple UI Adjustments and see if that uh, maybe makes things a little bit better. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I'm surprisingly, I'm not that much of a huge fan of the uh, of the CQ UI. I think it, it's a bit laggy, it slows the game down, and I don't like, excuse me, I don't like how it looks either. Anyway, so we're gonna be doing another Emperor game. I thought I would just chill again on Emperor. Emperor is kind of like a really comfortable difficulty where it's reasonably challenging, but it's not too crazy. Uh, Didi, I think, Didi can get a bit, a bit exhausting. And so we're just going to do a little bit of an Emperor. It's still the holidays, and I'm still kind of, I'm still recovering from my, my cold. So we're going to take it easy here. Now, I will do a standard size game with eight sieves this time, and I will do, uh, we'll do another Pangea game. I, I think that's a reasonable, a reasonable enough move. Uh, well, I mean, well, let's see. What kind of sieve are we going to play? I'm trying to think of a sieve that I haven't done a playthrough as. Gandhi. I don't think I've done a playthrough as Gandhi. I think I have done Gorgo. I've done Hojo. I think I've done most of these guys. Uh, I never finished my Aztecs playthrough, which is, you know, that's a reasonable thing to say. I did uh, did a China playthrough. I've done a playthrough as pretty much all these guys. In fact, I might play Rome again. They were kind of fun. Now, yeah, you know what? I'll tell you what. We'll just play random. You guys will probably already know what we're going to play, but I'll put it on random. Uh, Emperor, Ancient Era, Standard Rules, Game Speed, Standard Game Speed. Pangea map, standard map size, just gonna go do a basically 100% vanilla standard game, and uh, yeah, here we go, let's go. Let's see who we get. I'm interested, I'm interested, because we might roll, oh, Macedonia, I see. So, of course, uh, Macedonia has, or Macedonia, depending on how you want to say it, uh, Macedonia, Max Macedonia, has some pretty damn nice bonuses. The first of which is to the world's end, which is that cities do not incur war weariness penalties and all military units heal completely when we capture a city with a world wonder. We also have Hellenistic Fusion, which gives us a boost when we conquer a city for each encampment or campus in the conquered city and an inspiration for each holy site or theater square. They also get three unique uh, units and buildings, and we'll kind of talk about those now. It's the hip is Hippaspist. Here we go. So this is the um, Hippaspist, which I believe the 50% additional support bonus is a defensive bonus. It's like flanking, but it's a defensive flanking bonus. Uh, but they also get plus five combat spent when they're besieging districts. They're a replacement for the swordsman, which I and I believe they are the same strength but cheaper. Uh, right there. No, they're more expensive actually. But anyway, they're they're better. They're just basically they're they're slightly better swordsmen, and then they also get the heterio, het, heteroi, which is a Ma Macedonian unique cavalry unit that replaces the horsemen. They have an additional plus five combat strength when adjacent to a great general, and plus five great general points when killing an enemy unit. And they start with one free promotion. So these are very very nice units, very very powerful, very very useful uh, in comparison to the horsemen, which is uh, ever so slightly cheaper, but doesn't have the extra bonuses. Okay, oh, and then the final one is the Basil... Basilikoi Paides. This is a unique building to Macedon, a building, or rather a building unique to Macedon, plus 25% combat experience for all melee ranged l and all melee ranged, melee and ranged land units and heteroi chained in the city. They gain science equal to 25% of the units cost when non-civilian units are created in this city. And uh, that's about it. Just gives you a science for producing units. So we're going to want to kind of semi-rush out those. Oh my god, look at all this wheat. Holy god. I'm tempted to move here, but then I would miss out on some of this wheat later. Uh, jeez. This is going to be a big-ass city. So let's pop up some tile yields here. So we can kind of make a decision. Ah, I would love to work the deer. The Yeah, I think I'm going to settle in place here because this seems like a really good setup. So let's found the city. Now, do I want to work the deer or do I want to work the growth? I like the idea of working the deer. 
really fast and early. I'm gonna want to get basically my encampment up as soon as possible, so we're probably gonna go mining. Now, since we're on thingy, we could go for a fast monument here, which would open up some options here. I could either I could also go for a fast granary to make up for the fact that we're working a deer tile. I'm definitely gonna want to get my hands on a water mill, especially with all this wheat around. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a slinger. Now, let's just go ahead and scout this way a little bit, see if we can find anything of interest over here, and we'll go into our next turn. We're going to pop up onto this hill. Alrighty, so we found some horsemen, and we found a tribal village over here. Uh, I said horsemen, I meant horses. Let's see where this scout goes. Okay, so we headed kind of away from us. Okay, there's a coastal stuff going on down here as well. There's a couple of copies of copper. Those are quite nice because they give you extra gold early on in the game. And they, they're great mine tiles as well. So there's a progress towards military tradition. That's over here. Okay. Slinger is about to be done. Let's see if we can't find that encampment. It's probably on this tile somewhere around here, maybe. Yeah, right there. Well, the Slinger is done, and so we're going to get some exploration done with him. I'll try to clear this encampment soon. I want to get the levels out of it. All right, we found some jade. Now, we finished the slinger, and so we should maybe consider getting a second slinger. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a second slinger here. We'll start attacking some of these units. We need to kill, uh, we need to kill as many of these as we can. You're going to heal up next turn. You heal there, you can cross the river. Two slingers should be enough to hold off any barbarians and stuff like that, as long as they don't spawn into me. Okay, there's mining. Okay, you should heal up another turn before you can clear that. Okay, looks like there's some desert over here. Not ideal. Not exactly the ideal kind of terrain. Now, I'm tempted to go straight for bronze working here and get an encampment up as soon as humanly possible, and I... I think I may just go ahead and do that. I'm probably going to go Settler uh, after this Slinger, maybe. Maybe I should have gone for... Uh... Yeah, that should work like that. That way the Slinger finishes in two turns worth of growth. Yeah, okay. So we're going to work the growth here because we want to go for a Settler. I'm going to need to be Pop 2 at least to get a Settler. There's Preslav. Excellent. So we met Preslav first. That's huge. That's going to make a big difference, actually. Probably going to get that slinger faster than we anticipated. No, it should be okay. But it will mean our settler comes out a little bit quicker because the bonus production applies even to... I'm um, going to move here and then attack. Hopefully be able to get that kill. This should be a kill here. Oh, not quite. I will be able to kill next turn, however. Okay, there's the Slinger. Excellent, so this worked out just perfectly. And there will be the boost for archery. We have a second Slinger. We can cross the river here. Now let's get working on a Settler. So I do want to work. I think I do want to work. Even though this would shave a turn off, I think I value the extra three gold here quite a bit because it might mean I'll be able to purchase a unit um, a little bit sooner. In fact, I'm tempted to even go full production here, although I would like the extra growth. How much would I need to get a builder? Get a builder? 200 gold, so I might be able to get that in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, so clean that up, and then we'll take a promotion on you. We need to make a decision about where our settler is going. I kind of like the, the fast settler play. We'll take a promotion on you. 
Quick, quick second city seems to be like a very powerful move in my opinion because it lets you quickly grab a um, a strong settlement. So there's Brazil. My mortal enemy, it is an honor to meet you, Pedro. Okay, so he's living up here in Rio. City of Dreams. Maybe a Petra city in here somewhere. We'll consider that. If we can find a good Petra spot. Diplomatic, your delegation is most welcome. We will consider it, but it's unlikely that we will get a good Petra spot. So you're just going to heal for a turn. Unit needs orders. Okay, there's Mavemba and Nzinga. So Mavemba is pretty hard to take early because he gets that really, really strong um, Ngao Mbeba, I believe it's called. So we may kind of try to just avoid him. I need to find another Barbie unit to kill. Heal for a turn, see if you can take the hit. Excellent, so this should net me bronze working boosts. Let's go ahead and put plus five combat strength versus barbarians, a plus one production in all cities. Excellent. And then we'll attack. There's the boost for bronze working. And we have a tribal village over here. There's Stockholm. Somebody else found Stockholm first, but that's not always the most important part. The most important part can be just finding them. So we get the mission, for example, to recruit a great scientist. Six turns here until our next thingy. And if we're going to be going for early war, I'm kind of tempted to go up the north side of this tree. Maybe go like a two city play. Two city into double encampment into double basilicoi into double... What unit would I be making? I would want to be making heteroids or high pass pists. So we'll see. I want to I wanna settle for horses and iron, preferably. If I could get that, that would be amazing. So I think since I'm going to go for really early combat units, I'm going to go for craftsmanship and see if I can't maybe go for a fast high, high pass pist play and then follow it up with a fast um, heteroi. Heterioi or whatever it's called. Torres del Pain. So this is the one that doubles the terrain yields of all adjacent tasks. It usually spawns in Tundra, which makes it a bit weak, but you might be able to get value out of it. Okay, we're just filling in a bit of terrain here. Trying to reveal as much as I can, because I want to get iron. Even though I don't need iron for um, the high pass pist, being able to... I'm going to follow this settler up with a builder and send it after the settler if I can. Grab that. You heal up there. So I'm going to have you kind of come back down towards my city here, because the settler is about to pop. Oh, there's a Congo settler. Interesting. I could potentially steal that if it walks incorrectly. Question is, would you survive two attacks across a river? In a defensive location, you might, and I could settle that city instantly. So this is a risky move. I don't know if it's going to work. But I think it has potential here if we do a settler steal. So in theory... You should be able to survive both of these attacks. And run away with the Settler. Now we could settle in place. Is the mirror of the form. Damn. 
Well, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll purchase a warrior to go with this settler. So we got kind of two choices here. We settle in place or we move. Question is, do we think we can get somewhere better than where we are right now? This tile right here would be the good tile to go to, I think. Right there. But I'm going to go to that with this, this settler. But I think on this guy... Uh, this tile is really good, but it's also not fresh water, which makes it very, very annoying. And I don't want to be too far away from the iron because I don't want to I want to purchase to the iron. I'm gonna settle in place with this guy. And you're gonna take the garrison promotion, which will allow you to defend more effectively. I'm gonna bring up this warrior here to act as a defensive unit. So we just stole a city from them. Uh we need to make a decision. I wanna get the I wanna get the iron mine thing. That's like important to me. So I'm thinking I might settle for this iron instead of down here. Also, I'm gonna play, I would like to place the encampment, but I can't actually harvest any of these tiles. So I would need to purchase maybe this tile and drop an encampment. I want to drop the encampment on it just to lock in the price. But uh, I'm gonna work on a builder. If I settled on the floodplain, I would basically sew up this area here. I think I could settle for both of these iron. If I settle right there. I think I'm going to settle right there. By, maybe by the iron. Okay, so I think I'm going to work the wheat. I'm probably going to improve one of the wheat tiles maybe. We'll see. Um, I might go double builder here. To get these things online as soon as possible. But I'm going to go for bronze working. I might just go single builder. Yeah, I think I'm going to go single builder. And we're going to go iron working straight away. Over here. Uh, it's probably a good idea. For me to. Uh, for me to grab a warrior. Nice cheap unit. Can defend itself. Useful in terms of combat. I already have two warriors, so it might be worth to go for another slinger. I think I'll grab another warrior because it acts as a blocker unit and makes, makes attacking into me difficult. I want to get peace with the Congo kind of relatively early. And then transition into pushing him again. So I'm going to heal with this guy, even though I'm outside my territory. I will attack there. Okay. If I settled closer to this, I could clear it with my with my settlement. Yeah, I think I'm going to settle right there. Even though this does block another city on this thing. If I were to settle here. Yeah, I think I'm going to settle right there. Captures the maximum number of things. Do a bit of exploration. Keep attacking this scout. Go on to our next turn. True friends with smaller civilizations, we appreciate that you recognize that fact. Okay, we just got a bunch of free experience on our slinger. Excellent. Now there's something to be said of going for archery here before we go for ironworking. So I'm going to go for archery first. I think that's actually a mistake for me not to, to, to not do that. There's Aminatora of Nubia. Although, if I go for archery, that will slow down my Hispastus, or whatever it's called. And if I'm against the Congo, ranged units aren't really going to be super useful anyway. So actually, I'm going to go back to ironworking here. You can back up that way. So we're going to settle. Mm.
Now here, I need to also buy tiles and get started on my encampments, but that can happen in a little bit of time. Let me first do, um, get that monument so it starts spreading a little bit quicker. That little bit of culture will go quite far for me. Okay, Stonehenge was just built. Go this way. Go into alert mode. The farm just built over there. Okay, worker completed. Attack here. Choose production. I would love to go for a second builder here, but I'm going to go for my encampment. Because there's a limited amount of time that I have before I need to get, um, need to start building high pass bists to fight off the Congo's, um, Ningao and Beba. So I'm going to get you to run away because I don't want you to take a hit yet. Wake this guy up and attack. You come on over to help defend. Cross the river. Heal for a turn, next turn. What's your experience like? You're almost leveled up, okay. So you're gonna jump onto the, you're gonna attack here. You're gonna cross the river. Ooh, you might have to recross that river. You're gonna jump onto the deer. We're going to go to the iron. We're going to purchase the iron so that we can uh, cut down the time there. And that'll be two turns from now. Okay, you're going to back up. You're going to attack here. You're going to attack here. We'll have another warrior popping out here soon, which is good. You're going to run. Okay, an archer just popped. You're going to take the battle cry promotion. And you're ready with a um, volley promotion. Now I could cross this river and get a kill here potentially. Um... Attack that slinger. We're going to make a, another warrior. You're going to fortify until healed. Oh, I guess I should take the kill. Even if it does mean we might lose that unit. So we have four turns until we can start making high, high pass pists. I may skip the barracks building for now. Okay, okay. So cross, attack. Work that iron mine. Excellent. Get a science out of it. Fall back. Attack there. Nice one. We could do some damage to this warrior. I'm worried about getting ganked, however, so we're going to hide here. You're going to fortify. Okay, you would pay me for peace. And that would give me 10 turns to set up for the next war. So I'll take that peace. This should be a kill here. Excellent. This is all working out really nicely for me. Uh, why don't you get inside my territory and fortify? Two turns. I should be able to upgrade at least one of these guys.
Hey, one more turn until my encampment is done. Get back in the city to heal up. We're going to upgrade the uh, the wheat farms here, I think. Okay, a lot of boosts just happened, which is really good. We got craftsmanship. We're going to slot in Agog. We can get the his pass pist in seven turns. Basilica, guy, blades, ten turns. How much would this DVP be to purchase? Three hundred and sixty. I think I'm gonna hard build this. Yeah, we've a oh, hundred gold per upgrade is not bad actually, considering we extracted gold out of the Congo. So we're gonna get our hypaspis and then attack him. I definitely want watermill in my capital, but I think I'm not in a rush to get it. Let's go for archery now. And then let's pick up military tradition because we're going to want the flanking and support combat bonuses. And we're building a high pass pistol over here, which really shouldn't be, but it'll be fine. And... Okay, so we got one copy of wheat up. I think two copies of wheat should be able to feed this city for a very long time. So we'll get that up. We also need to get uh, amenities up. So I may actually save this for the truffles. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for truffles instead. Okay, so he settled over here. That'll be something we need to deal with. We got a monument over here, which is going to be very, very useful. Um, I need to save my money. Let's get a builder to go improve my capital. The city's going to be supporting my cap. Now, how am I doing? I'm the first person to get out a encampment, which is good, and I should be the first person to get a second encampment. I'm not going to upgrade these guys yet, but soon they will be upgraded. That was the harvesting of cattle and sheep. We're going to go straight for horseback riding, essentially. And we're also going to want battering rams. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm going to go battering rams first so I can get those built nice and quick. Somebody is killing Preslab. That's actually really bad for me. Um, would you make your way over this way? Okay, there's the camp, mainly for the amenities to keep my cities happy as it's about to grow. Yeah, looks like Amanatori took that city. Keep moving over here. Bravery is being the only one who knows you're afraid. So we have the cavalry card now. Mainly we wanted that flanking bonuses, so we got them now. That's good. Uh, we don't want to change our civics right now, I think. Let's make our way to political philosophy. So we can get our government. Move up this way. Next turn. Keep going this way. Food. Only a only a one food surplus in my capital, which is really really poor, but it has a really good production line early this early into the game. The delegation is most welcome. I'm gonna have to liberate Preslav at some point because I want to have them on my side. It allows the harvesting of stone. That's all fine. So mainly the battering ram is the really good thing about this, and then we can go for archery and horseback riding. So how long until our peace deal with Movemba is over? Okay, we can declare war already. Get up there. We're not too far off from being able to upgrade all. We'll have four high pass pists here. 
which is really good. Your delegation is most welcome. That will mean my, my army will get quite expensive here very, very soon. Over here, I want you to make my battering ram. And you're going to... Uh, see, right, you got the... You got the Basili Koi Paids. Why don't you go ahead and make me... Settlers would be good, but I think even more units might even be better. Uh, but I'm afraid my army's going to get super expensive here. So I might just pick up like a cheap thing like Monument to try and get to my next government here really quick. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to hold for a turn, two turns on these units, and then I'm going to upgrade them all, with the exception of these slingers. May the forces of evil become confused. Uh, let's send these over to my capital. I want to build up my capital as much as I can. You're going to get started on your own encampment. What's the next tile you're claiming? Damn it, claim some good tiles. Could also go for the pyramids here. Does that really fit with my combat-oriented goal? I don't want to crush the sheep. It is a desert hill sheep, so it's actually not that bad to crush it. But yeah, we're going to go for a second encampment here. Just going to quickly grab the monument so that we can push our culture up a little bit. Uh, one more turn until we upgrade all these warriors into the uh, advanced unit. Oh, this episode's gone on a little bit longer than I anticipated. But I tell you what, we're almost ready to attack and kill Congo. I'll do all the upgrading just now. But in order to see the outcome, you'll have to, uh, have to come see the next episode. We're going to need... to put in the unit maintenance pen, uh, thingy. So I think I'm going to grab that first. But yeah, other than that, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I think it's a really exciting start that we're off to. Let me know what your, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.